My dear students, how are you? I think you all are well and doing well with your online studies. This is Shantanu from Hati Krafty. Today's episode is based on the most basic concept of visual art that is the elements of art. So let's start. Have you ever looked at an artwork and wondered how the artist decided to begin making it? All art, whether two-dimensional like a painting or three-dimensional like a sculpture, contains one or more of the seven elements of art. Think of the elements of art as the arrows in your quiver or tools in a toolbox. You use them individually and in combination for any art making endeavor. There are seven elements of art color, form, line, shape, space, texture, and value. The first one is color. Color is the element of art that is produced when light striking an object is reflected back to the eye. There are three elements of color, hue, value and intensity. Hue is the color itself, value is the lightness or darkness and intensity is the brightness and purity of a color. High intensity color refers to bold and bright low intensity colors are faint and duller. Here are the examples of hue, intensity and value. This is the painting done by Henry Mathis and Alexander Calder. Next is form. Form is the element of art that renders a three-dimensional form in two dimensions. A cube, a sphere, a cylinder and a pyramid are all different forms. Forms can also be formless, that is called abstract and free-flowing. Here are some examples. This is the geometrical form. This is the sculpture by Jane Arp. And this is the painting by Lucien Rod. Then comes line. Marks made on a surface are known as line. They start at a point and move along, creating space as they go. Lines can be two or three dimensional. Creating a series of parallel lines to indicate form is a technique known as hatching. Cross hatching indicates more than one set of these lines laid over top of each other at angles to model and indicate tone. This is the painting done by Pablo Picasso. It is totally based on lines. Then comes shape. In the visual arts, shape is a flat enclosed area of an artwork created through lines, textures, colors or an area enclosed by other shapes such as triangles, circles and squares. There are two types of shapes. One is geometrical and the other is organic shape. This is the painting done by John Miro. It is totally on the shape of various geometrical and organic shapes. Then space. 
space is the element of art through which both positive and negative areas are defined or a sense of depth is achieved in a work of art positive space positive space is the area or part of the composition that an object or subject occupies it is usually the main focus of the painting negative space negative space is that empty or open space that surrounds an object it helps to define the object here are the examples of some positive and negative space this is the painting done by mc escher then comes texture this aspect of art defines the way an art object or an element in a composition feels or looks as if it would feel if touched that is smoothness roughness softness etc this is the painting done by vincent van gogh and this is the drawing by cecil buller this is all about the seven elements of art if there is any doubt please make a note at the comment box download the pdf file of the whole note by clicking the link at the description thanks for watching please like and subscribe and if there is any doubt regarding this topic please write it in the comment box below see you in the next episode bye